Onion rings. Just onion rings. Three Peter is good enough. I just want to do it. This is onion rings. It'll be a four cost. It will be a three cost four four attack twice in all three lanes. <laughs> Look at this card right here. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got that. I got it from Cosmic Peter, of course. Okay. Uh. So this first shot is just gonna just wall the bowling. Damage in all lanes. Roll one. Nope. But we will actually finish him off with 12 damage here from the massive Onion Rings 3 Peter combo. Got him! What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the Onion Ramp deck. This is a ramp. You're trying to get as many uh, sun as you can per turn using cards like Solar Winds and Sunflowers. And you're trying to get Onion Rings onto the field as soon as possible. Now there's a little bit of a problem, and it's the reason why you've never seen me do a Ramp Onion Rings deck before, is because if you're really spending a lot of cards out of your hand, um, in order to both control your opponent, make sure you don't die in the early game before you can get the Onion Rings, and also you really need to spend cards in order to Ramp, in order to get that extra sun. Uh, you're going to end up with this Onion Rings that really does not have a lot of cards in your hand uh, to actually activate. This will make all your cards 4-4, four, four, but if you only have like one or two cards, uh, not going to help. So, uh, sort of what I did with this deck was to make sure that we can at least stall for time with cards that will draw their cards. So, even though, for example, the Cosmic Flower, uh, this is not going to like destroy what your opponent plays on turn 3 usually. It'll just stall for enough time. Uh, in order to make sure that you can get your onion rings in, plus it will draw you another card which will become a 4-4, which usually will be an upgrade to what the Cosmic Flower gives you. Hopefully we will not get Flourish from Cosmic Flower, which is really annoying, and I seem to get Flourish and Bellflower uh, disproportionately. The same thing really goes with the Cosmic P, and in a way the same thing really goes with the Captain Cucumber. Uh, let's get something big, we'll try to play it before the Onion Rings, but at the end of the day at least you're going to have a lot of cards in your hand. You're not going to be running out of steam when you play the Onion Rings. Uh, we are running Briar Rose. When you play Onion Rings, all again, your Sunflowers are going to be one cost four fours, which are amazing. Uh, the Sunflower Seed, really all these cards just become amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, when you play Onion Ring, so there's that consistency. If you can put all your guys on the field, uh, we are then running... Thank you so much, Catchy Eggs, for subscribing. We are then running the Sun Strike. This is better, I think, than Plant Food, since you're not really building one big minion. Instead, you're making a whole bunch of 4-4s. Four this will make them all have Strike Through, and you'll be able to finish off your opponent really quick. Uh, there's a really lot of synergy between the Captain Cucumber 2, because any card you conjure costs one less, including the cards you conjure from uh, not only the Cosmic Flower, the Cosmic P, but also uh, this will conjure you a trick, and that'll also cost one less. So, alright, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. This is not going to be like a top tier deck. This will definitely be tier 2, because again, the problem with Onion Rings on the highest level of the game is that it's too slow. If you are using your turn, you know, you're not really getting any strong power until after turn 5. There's a lot of decks like Trickster decks and Valk decks and aggro decks on the zombie side that can sort of win the game before then, but this will definitely be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to, um, Onion Rings is just fun, come on. Every card in your hand becomes a 4-4. Four, four. I'll definitely take it. Again, if you happen to have a Cosmic P in your hands and you play Onion Rings, that's a 4-4 four, four double strike, which draws you a card, so ridiculous. Exactly. Okay, so we'll always keep an Onion Rings. We have a little bit of control. Uh, I think this is good enough. Oh, baby. Uh, do I use Reddit, Alex Lee? Just every once in a while. Uh, we will control using this. Why the heck not? Got him. Predicting 7 and 3. Depends on the matchups. <coughs> this is fine, and I believe we do control... I'm just trying to think, you know, our opponent does have... Sugar Retreat, Rolling Stone. If it's Rolling Stone, it's better just not to play this. Again, saving this for the Onion Rings is better if this is gonna get Rolling Stoned here. On the other hand, our opponent did play a one-drop last turn. A one drop this turn. The chance of having a third one drop is not super likely in terms of what he would have kept mulligan wise. 
I think we're gonna do this. I'll play this here too in case I put we'll play around um, black hole. Good call. Spiritin. Called black hole. Does have frenzy, but again, th these two will actually trade now, and that's a whole frenzy. A whole nother card our opponent had to you know, had to really spend to kill my 2-1 essentially, so I'll take it. We can spam this this turn. Uh, this again just stalls for time. Just make sure this card, whatever it is, does not hit us unless it's Lion Dancing Zombie. I assume it's a sumo. Uh, it's got a one cost card. Very good. So, like, what's the play? You you preserve your 2 2 frenzy that's not going to really get a lot of value later. <clears throat> There's the black hole. Your mom is a black hole. Okay. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. Uh, so probably develop Briar Rose. You definitely don't need this to get buffed by the Fang. And next turn we're just going to Onion Ring him to death. Our opponent did not get with the strong start. Did not, we didn't see a sports coach on four or a mascot on three. Totally past turn four. It is so harsh when you pass turns three or four. It's like the tempo swing is ridiculous. Look at our field now. We have an uncontested Briar Rose. We have um, Onion Rings in freaking coming. I'm actually going to go face with this because I'd rather put a flower in case he wants to buff up that arm rustler somehow. What he's planning on here. But now this hand just became absolutely ridiculous. We have the double strike, three cost, four, four. We have a whole bunch of one cost, four, fours. Two of them are flowers. They're going to be ramping. And once we start drawing cards, let's say, with the Cosmic Peons, <laughs> it's just... The man's freezing. That's what he's doing. Once he starts, you know, buff, yeah, using the... Once we use the Cosmic Peons are drawing cards, we'll have a, a setup for the second Onion Ring between the cards we conjure and the cards we draw over the next turn or two. <laughs> Great. The one that was useless. Good job. Wow. That's nice. So, yep, we got five. It's... Hmm? Um, I'm actually going to play this first. I'm going to put a Flower of the Sorts here, just to make sure it dies to the Briar Rose. <laughs> That's nice. Again, this will be a 4. This will be another 4-4 four, four double strike. We'll put this here, and we'll just use one of our um, flowers, which will win the matchup, and if he grows this, at least Briar Rose will take it out. We're absolutely ruining this guy. We have tw at least 12 damage on his face. Okay, he froze that. Again, this unfreezes and then does its double strike, which is fine. Look at this Cosmic P. What's going on, Nimble? Tornado? What's going on here? Just making sure. What do you think of chickening? I used to like it a lot. I just feel like it's a little bit slow nowadays. Um, it's too expensive. I feel like Weed Spray also used to leap me a lot better. What's the thing? I think like the, the, the meta has become so, they like, I don't know, I guess there used to be a lot more just mushroom buff shroom on lower levels, and that's when chickening was really good, but people don't do that on higher levels, maybe that's it. Um, okay, so let's keep it spamming. Let's keep the spamming going. This is the best one. Double strike, 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Double strike 4-4, four, four, bounce everything out of the way. <coughs> What's going on? Super thick. How you doing? Ninja's here. Lover. I'm trying to notice everyone, you guys. It's hard, though. Why did you not cover my environment? So we try not to die. Okay. That still hits for 4. Block. Needs super now. Did get it. Still will be down to 3. Yeah, sadness. I actually don't have a play this turn. Where's Sunstrike? No amphibious minions for Chum Solo, of course. Mahes is here. Shadow Lord. <sighs> yeah, again, the reason why... I, I definitely hear what you're saying, Shadow Lord. Uh, the reason why I'll add Briar Rose to a deck like this... Like, I'd say Briar Rose is not necessary. I want the deck to be winning. See, I don't even think this deck is like a 10-0 deck because it has Briar Rose. I feel like this is going to be... I'm trying to make it get to that 80-90% win rate still and still be a very fun deck. So, you'll see me add a lot of OP cards to the fun decks. Like, I'll add Tricksters to just anything 
uh, you know, any of our weird decks on the on the zombie side or Doctor Who, and I'll I'd be adding Briar Rose or Cobb Cannon or stuff like that on the plant side. I feel like when it's winning, so then, okay, so you're winning a decent amount, plus you have this whole fun strategy. Like, if I, was, I would never bring this deck to a tournament with the onion rings in it. It's just fun. It's just fun spamming one cost four fours. <laughs> Got him. Help you understand. There's a difference between the. If I was just tryharding and trying to win, I would play. There would be a few decks I would play every single day. I would play some actual actual tryhard ramp decks on the zombie on the plant side. Just rows, just freaking. You, you would not see onion rings. You'd see cob cannons, and you'd see just like the top tier cards. And on the zombie side, it would just be variants of trickster decks for the most part. Um. You know, I just trickster Valk hybrid. I was just like feeling like killing people last night. I don't really know if that's coming from a good place though. I have to introspect a little bit on that. But um I was just feel like winning last night. I was just playing Valk Trickster Hybrid, just ruining people. Good deck. I lost a couple, but Fireworks Shark. I, I used to do that a lot in the past, and any way I used to control with Splash, I feel like Splash is a really good way of controlling anymore. Um, so anyway would run that, and then Shark anyway is a decent finisher, so, uh, you used to run Fire Rooster. I just feel like dealing one damage is not all that, because, in a way, the main thing you really need to control is, like, Haunted Pumpkin, and it's so hard to splash them down. Haunted Pumpkin is such a meta changer. It's such a great card. Okay. Don't need you. Uh, I'm looking for an onion rings or a ramp card. Oh, there we go. Hopefully we'll tap that one. What's going on? The caged. That's a nice name. <clears throat> Nightcap deck that went 31 and 0. That's working great. You went nine and one with that deck. Okay. On lower levels, you definitely can go can go really far with it. So I'm happy that the 31 and 0 deck still works. I consider that to be, nowadays, a tier 3 deck. Wait, what do you do? He's summoning this? Are you kidding me, man? Okay, we'll just try to <laughs> minimize the problem here. Uh, I am, I'm definitely not lagging on my end, so... Must be the ping. The internet ping over in Republic. Party pooper? That's what you call it. That's what you call it. What do, you call it? what do we do here? Why, why, why are so many ninjas? I want to be. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Does five help us next turn? Not really. Do I want to kill this before it grows too much? Uh, um, well, I we get a field clear card from this. Hmm. Do we start drawing or start ramping already? That's a tough decision. I think this is better because it puts another guy in the field next turn for Briar Rose. You're the only one streaming PvZ Heroes, yeah. Generally the only one. Damn! Really? <clears throat> think the viewers are happier if I'm winning less. I find that people actually way overvalue that I am winning. I feel like I'll have a fun time and then people are just like, no, it's not winning, and they start getting sad. That's my take on it, but, you know, I've only been doing this for two years, so what do I know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so condescending. I apologize. Um, I don't know what to do here! Okay, Briar Rose. When in doubt... Briar Rose. What's going on, Mebroke? Conjure Dance. Oh, this looks fun. So you don't think, I don't think you have enough win conditions, though. You have to, like, conjure them from your fairy treasures. Hey, it'll be fun. You know, you need some actual win conditions, though. Ah, uh, let's do this, because... Uh, poppies, poppies are a guardian card, so I still can't do it. Umbrella, again, 
What does Umbrella actually do? It's a whole card, and it's only good if it gets hit by Onion Rings. You need every card in the deck to be good by itself, not just to rely on something else. It's a very big, very big, um, very important concept for deck building in general, I would say. Do one damage. The man is gonna be dead. <laughs> nice try. He's like, ah, it'll kill the Priros anyway. Not really. Chickeny? No. Okay, so Cosmic P is, it does have two uses in the deck. Again, it has, it's not great. I'm not going to say it's amazing. That's one of the problems with this deck is that we're relying on Cosmic P for control. But it does have two uses. One is it's just a body to get in the way of taking damage. That is the point of playing it on turn three. And that's why we're running the deck. And it doesn't cost you a card, so it'll it'll still keep your hand full what you want. The second thing is when you actually play the, the, the onion rings, then it's a three cost four for double strike. So it does have two uses. It's not only good with the, with the with the onion rings. You're right. It's both of its uses have to do with the general theme of the deck because one is as a control cost stalling for time card, a card draw stalling for time card, and the other is a powerful card once you play onion rings. But it's not just a one trick thing that only works when you have the. It's not only good after onion rings is the point. If you have a card that's only good after Onion Rings, that means it's only good from turn 6 and on, which really sucks. Really, really sucks. Uh, this is interesting. I'm actually going to go with you, you, and heal. Really low in health. <coughs> it theoretically protects this a lot too. And bonus attacks, they both die. In fact, these things have overshoot. He should go with the um he should go with the cosmic dancer here. No, because the other one does more damage with the overshoot. Mistakes were made. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, he definitely should have gone with the other one. Uh we will draw cards. Uh we have a huge card advantage now, so we have a life disadvantage. It'd be really nice to get Pop and Poppies out of this. We can just use some healing really. That happened. Galling P? Ho ho ho. I'll take it. Put Magnifying Grass again. That was a different deck, and I have that. That was my last deck on YouTube. We'll let that deck be that deck, and we really want to emphasize the Onion Rings more. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this one. But you're right. Onion, uh, uh, magnifying would be good. W w who are you hitting? You're getting the Briar Rose? <laughs> that's a 5 cost 2 damage. <laughs> you dang it. Wow, that sucked. The overstrike is real. Oh, that sucks. So he's still doing about... He's still doing five damage to our face. Uh, we need to really start putting on some heavy damage, and this will actually hopefully win us the game next turn. So we're gonna go with you. The double strike is gonna be really, really good. And this might give us some field clear. Between these two Captain Cucumbers, you know, there's a lot of field clear cards that could help us in the legendary slot, like Colonel Clark. We'll hop enough for it next turn. He's down to three. I could have gone face there. It's a little, I could have gone face there. Oh no, I couldn't have. Right, we're only two damage. We're down to four, which is a little sad. Here's B Rex. Oh, this doesn't help. Too bad we don't have any blocks left. That would have really clinched the game. But the Sun Strike, I, I believe, is going to be the one. A ramp deck means you're gaining more sun or brains every single turn by using cards like Sunflower. Oh, don't go face! It's going face. No. Okay. I think I use Sunstrike and try to conjure a, a plant food or a... What else could help us here? A removal card? I just don't want... No! He overcommitted! Oh, that's lethal. None of his powers are going to save him here. Oh, damn. That sucks. 
Sucks for him. Oh man, he overcommitted with this, so this is gonna be... This is not even lethal on his side. We must have it here, with a double strike. We'll play you. It actually gets bigger now. Let's see what power we get. Uh, that costs three. <laughs> Can't play it. It's still lethal. He has to roll three, and then which power could save him against a 4 4? Nothing. Or do direct damage to face? Nothing. Got him! Like these games, this deck is not performing well. We are barely. Wi both the games we won, but we're barely winning. I like to say this deck is all go Peter. Keep going. Patch the kitty cat. If he went face with the soldier, he would have won? How? With both soldiers, you mean? How would he have won? He needed four more. And then Cosmic Yeti... No, he would have died by then. I'm confused. Ketchup Mechanic. Ketchup Mechanic would be good in this deck, you're right. Ketchup Mechanic would be amazing in this deck. It would be really good with the Onion Rings, too. Thank you so much, Wall Knight, for subscribing. It's such a good anti-ram <clears throat> card. It gives us the, the healing that we need. I wonder if Ketchup Mechanic would be better than, let's say, Cosmic P. Cosmic P in your pants. Looking for a ramp card of the sorts. Good enough. Maybe I'll try after a few games adding in catch a mechanic into this deck. Good idea. It doesn't draw you a card though. It really gives you a lot of sustain though. And with the onion rings, it ends up being amazing quite often. Uh, do we want this one yet? No, we're just gonna. We're just gonna sunflower next turn right into this. Well, hold on. There's no need to to get over vigilant, particularly against beam me up. <laughs> yep. Again, Cosmic P is a, both a stall card and a card that gets good after the onion rings. It's not a good card though. If you guys are trying to convince me that it sucks, I'm totally on board. Let's go with this. Mechanic instead of cosmic people. So because at the end of the day, if we have a lot of healing, the longer the game goes, the better. Thank you, Simon. Love you too, Simon. This is crazy, by the way. <laughs> Look at this hand! Look at this hand! Just gonna get better too. Trap pa 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 pa. Kill the the kill the four four one for sure. Yep. <coughs> we still ramping though. He was going after the sunflower. He's like, uh, this is fine. I'm probably gonna use a four four to still to take out the toxic waste him just so we don't get deadly a lot. So it's gonna be, uh. I think we'll keep that sunflower. The more sun we're gaining is probably better here. I think I'll go. Should go with the ramp? Just the eight damage. Or should go with Captain Cucumber to set up next turn. Let's go with Captain Cucumber. We're not in any hurry and we do need more cards. It's deadly, so this will trade. Hmm. It would have been better to put the 4 4 behind the Sunflower. I just thought that most things the Primal Sunflower will trade well with. We I mean, don't want the Sunflower dying for no reason, but we're still ramping. We're doing okay. It's in the box. <laughs> this doesn't benefit at all. <laughs> Weenie Beanie! Yes! <laughs> Weenie Beanie OP. Uh, so three, six, seven. I feel like I still want to do this. Oh, that was weird. Not using the weenie beanie. 
I'm not playing the weenie beanie. Shut up. <laughs> we need this to turn into something bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I know this is weird, but I'm putting this here. I don't want this charging his block meter for no reason. Well, I could do it here. Okay, we'll do it as a protecting protecting the sunflower car. It's just gonna charge his block meter unnecessarily, but whatever. Oh baby! This is a three cost repeater, by the way. I don't have any way to grow that without onion rings, though. So maybe we'll get a way to grow it. Boop. <laughs> Little pea shooter. Oh, we rolled a one. Good job, pea shooter. Oh baby, we got some healing! Teleportation zombies, pretty cool. Here's another legendary. Double E. Oh ho ho ho! That's what daddy likes! Okay, we got Steel Magnolia. That might be good. We're ramping so heavily, though. Oh, we can actually kill this, which is really cool. I'm going for it. I don't even care. We're gonna Steel Magnolia there eventually. We can't do it this turn. <laughs> this just prevents him from teleporting. I know it's such a weird use of Cobb Cannon, but no one cares. Should we do this here? Uh, let's calculate block meters here. Hit. This will actually probably proc the block, which is amazing. Oh, we'll go with this. Oh, baby. The heal is real. Oh, man. We in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's so slow. These cards like triplication. Triplication should definitely cost three. It is such. Even at three, it wouldn't be that good. It's giving you unreliable garbage. I rolled a three on the first shot. Okay, that happened. We have so much healing! And this turns into. Oh, that was a Steel Magnolia. Okay, fine. So we have a 5 5 Sergeant. Oh, this is a team up. It's really nice having the team ups here. Oh no, it's Plank Walker. Whatever we're gonna do. Double gondola. <laughs> More cards! Let's go onion rings. Let's go onion rings, please. I wanna do this. Yes! Oh, onion rings and this <laughs> is a full wait, eight? Oh, we can almost do it. Wait. Damn, I wanna play these two in Sunstrike. Uh <laughs> we're so close though. How about Onion rings, just onion rings, three Peter is good enough. I just want to do it. This is onion rings, it'll be a four cost. It'll be a three cost, four, four, attack twice in all three lanes. <laughs> Look at this card right here. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got that. I got it from Cosmic P, of course. Okay, uh. So this first shot is just gonna, there's wall in the bowling, speaking of doing million damage in all lanes. Roll one. Nope. But we will actually finish him off with 12 damage here from the massive Onion Rings 3 Peter combo. Got him. Thank you, Regifter. Ooh, that could be the highlight, I guess. I suppose. Alright, we're gonna do an experiment. Let's see what happens when we add Ketchup Mechanic instead of this thing. This thing will benefit a lot from the from the onion rings too. This actually does make this deck seem a lot more solid. All right, let's try it. Six flags and T-Mobile. Okay, I'll redo the deck list. Here comes the deck list. Let's see if I can change this deck list before the game starts. It's so hard, you guys. It's so hard. Uh -oh. uh. And disappear. Oh, there you go. Eureka! All right. Got him. Catching mechanics instead of the cosmic peas. Peas. This is okay. Do we need a one? Not really. Ketchup's good. I'll get rid of this one. Oh, baby. Got a one. <coughs> Let's go, con man. Bring it on, con man. I will chomp your ass. Yeah. Press F to pay respects to Cosmic B. 
it sucks so much. It doesn't even work in the deck that we like built for it. Okay, it did win us last game. We, we should give it more credit than credit is due. I don't know. Do I use this here? Ugh, this is gonna be such a nuisance. Uh, let's do it. Sad. You can't find a zombie opponent? I can find any. What rank are you? Maybe lower levels are all playing plants. Like half when you can eat. I'm pouring a drink, you guys. It's water. It just sounds really weird because it's right by my mic here. I'll turn the microphone the other way first. It just sounds like I just hear random water gushing. There. Oh baby, that's why we're running this car. That is why we do that. There's weak stuff out of here. That's why you just run an automatic two or three cosmic fees in every chump soul deck. Just deal with freaking toxic waste and otherwise there's no answer. No. Oh baby. Onion rings next turn. Onion rings next turn. That was the consideration for actually keeping the sunflower seed in that hand. And it's on two catch-up mechanics, too, which is great. Those will be at least five fives that will heal us, probably even more. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. These are actually just... Wow, he's drawing a lot of cards here. Uh, I have to do this. Deadly superpower would be good. It would be amazing here. But all the damage is gonna. The problem is the cards that he's, that he's gaining. We really need some card draw right now. In fact, it's you could make an argument that Cosmic P would actually have been better here than Catch a Mechanic. <coughs> We're scorched when you need it. We have enough. We have so much healing, so much sustain. We just need our Captain Q. We need our card draw. That's what we need. We have no answer to that. We just have no answer. We'll heal once. Doesn't really do us anything. This is not going well. This is such a strong play. But there's not. Yeah, I could put a sunflower in front of it. It's just. How are we gonna. I don't know. Suns. Like, this is a. This is a freaking 9 9. It just dies to deadly. We can't deal with the second Toxic Waste and we only have one other Sweet Pea in this deck and really nothing else to do. And playing the Sunflower here... I guess I'll do it. Just because theoretically if we get a Sun Strike this coming turn, things will be good. We'll at least be able to do 9 damage. See, I don't know. I think actually drawing a card here is better than getting a big guy like this. In fact, we'd even be able to do 4 damage to his face if this was a Cosmic P. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. Because, like, what? He'll just put one more Imp. He automatically has an Imp here. Maybe I should have put it here so he wouldn't automatically have an Imp to play, even though chances of him having it are pretty high. And we're, that's it. <laughs> wow. Just wow. <clears throat> we just got nothing to do. Is the problem. It really happens to be that we ran out of steam. Cosmic P would have been better. <laughs> Even though these things are insane. There are some cards. That's what we needed. <sighs> Still. How are we going to kill this freaking toxic waste in when his field is so full? We need cheap cards. There you go. There you go, you guys. Walnut bowling is what we need. So we're gonna go with these two. It'll be nine damage to his face. 
skill for five to do it. Might as well do it. Oh baby, you're right, Scorch would be good. Wait, did we use Scorch already? We use Super, we use Holoflora, and we use Heal. No, it's actually guaranteed Scorch. Whoops, we shouldn't have used the Sun Strike. That was a mistake. No, I should I should have saved it for the next turn. Oh, I did not think that through. I did not think that through. Damn. If I would have just saved the Sun Strike for the next turn, since we guarantee get Scorch there, we could have really just won this next turn. That was a brain fart. Good call, you guys. The chat called it. Good freaking call. But now that we have the Captain Cucumber, we're actually in much better shape. Ooh, he said these environments, too. That's harsh. We can go face with this again if we want. And probably going face is correct here. Five and three is just eight. And it's healing. Uh, this has to go here, actually, because these cards, I think, are the bigger problem than the damage right now. We go in face, ladies and gentlemen. We go in face. The play would have just been Ketchup Mechanic, Ketchup Mechanic Sunstrike, would we have even had it? I don't remember. Smoke Bomb, good. Smoke bomb. Keeps the Toxic Waste in the life. Smart. Let's draw any cards there, though, which is good. <coughs> oh, baby. Two. I'll take the one extra damage here. I'm going to develop another one of these. Again, we're getting two legendaries, so if we can play both of them, we should be in decent shape. Colonel Corn would obviously be nice. Anything I could take out that Toxic Waste, and if we get a Colonel Corn, we're going to win the game. We're drawing two cards here, so it's not like we're going to run out of steam anytime soon. Ooh, that prevents actually us from drawing one. That's a good play. Also conjures in the other hand. The health from the ketchup mechanic obviously kept us in the game. Oh, I'll take it. I dig it. It's not bad. Ugh, it's like, it's against full lanes, though. A little bit rough. On the other hand, man, if this wasn't in a gravestone, this would be so much more damage. How much have we got? 12. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're gonna do this next turn. Do we go face for five here? For four? I don't think we do we? I don't think we do actually. It's not veggies by the way. We're gonna do that next turn. Yeah, sad onion for sure. We're still really okay here, and we are drawing another card from the captain. And we're gonna have a very big vegetation mutation coming up. So we'll have two more cards here. One is Pecanolith. Very, very nice here. Are you kidding me? 
on the other hand, he probably just has a handful of imps. What exactly are we gonna do here? Does he have a, a fourth card? He does. There's no actual point in vegetation mutation here. I guess it'll kill this imp. I guess we just have to make sure he doesn't have any, any imps left. Okay, so what do we put here? We put the one that he can't really destroy. Fruitcake can destroy this. I guess if we vegetation mutation it. So we have eight, nine, yeah, we'll just play everything. Do we want the Briar Rose to live? Yes. I think the Briar Rose is more important. We'll do this to kill his imps instead. He's only doing two damage to us. And Fruitcake does not kill the Connell, no. How you doing, Setra? This deck is worse than the one we're using yesterday. We're just having more fortune. Except for that Toxic Waste Imp has been driving us crazy. The whole game. He only has two cards left, is the good news. Almost everything we play here dies, though. He's just running out of steam. So, three more sunflowers. Ugh! <laughs> the five, six priorities. What would be the best thing to get here? What's the best thing to get at? This is probably one of the better ones we could have got. Uh, Flourish would actually be amazing here. No! Oh, that's bad. What else does he got? Oh, no. Huh? The meringue doesn't help at all. So, he does have lethal damage on face, and we have no way to, to prevent it, so... Ah, too bad. Lethal pit. Deadly. Blah. This toxic again. We had the one sweet pea that answered the first one. But I don't know. You run hammer. I don't know about these ketchup mechanics. I feel like double strike would have actually won. Huh? You would have won if you saved veggie. I don't think so. Because he would have had one imp on the field still, that which which would not have died. I think this is actually a mistake. <laughs> I feel like the Cosmic Peas, it was really a matter there of running out of cards. And having double strike cards specifically would have been amazing there. So we're actually going back to Cosmic P. That game didn't count. Um, let's go back to this. I'll change the deck list back. I don't have the other deck list just sticking around here. So we'll do that. Let's see. They shoved another tank down my throat and it was a hamster. I, I know the feeling, Hydra. What do you mean again? We're talking Overwatch right now. We need some early game though. Early game? Wow, do we keep the captain here? Okay. Add molecule? Someone just sent me an imager image. Shamzilla Ringy, you showed me this deck before. Someone did. <laughs> McCree Rent Main, also Junkrat. I main Junkrat. <laughs> How many people here main Junkrat? I do play Overwatch from time to time. You guys can friend me there if you want.
Not another one. No, I don't want to do this. I, I don't want to do this again. Toxic Waste Imp is so good against Champzilla. It's like the weakness to all Champzilla decks. We have no amphibious minions. No, I, I should add in for just four Sweet Peas. Take out two Cosmic Peas and add in for just Sweet Peas. Maybe that's what I'll do. It's so annoying. Just stop it. Just please. I don't like it. Mercy and Junkrat. That's a diverse little group there. Did Mercy get nerfed again? What happened to Mercy? Okay, we're talking Overwatch now, guys. No extracurricular hobby. I don't have any one drops. Damn. No, I can't. This is too stressful. How am I supposed to deal with this piece of- This onion rings does nothing here, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. Hammond? That's what you're calling him? From the lower? I wouldn't even know what you're saying if it weren't for one of my- Friends last night explained the whole Hammond thing to me. I think he should have been a monkey all along. So I just need more sweet peas. I'm putting in two more sweet peas after this game. It's been the sneaky meta today, so. Why do I have all onion rings? Just stop it! I don't even know if I want a pine clone here. I feel like I need more cards, but... You know what? You know what? Give me a good trick here, please. Wow! Just wow! Helps against Toxic Waste Imp, not at all. Banana Bomb would have been amazing. It's so good he killed his fishy imp there, else I wouldn't have been able to do that. Hopefully he just doesn't have another one in his hands. What is this garbage? Really? He only has six cards again. I hear what you're, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Gets to this lane. That did nothing, by the way. It's like five plus four. He gets this lane, he wins anyway, so. Might as well. Watch him just roll all ones here and win. He's at least clearing our field. There's a one! Here we go, you guys! And there's a two! Uh, no, it's guaranteed. Le uh, no, no. There's a two! Now we need a three. Oh no, it's dead. Oh never mind. I forgot it. Still, it just means any anything kills us now. Well, what would help? It's not horrible. As long as he doesn't have an amphibious minion, we'll be okay. We'll be alright. I'll make this to a 40. 
orcs so I don't like that. Nice try. Pogo. <laughs> oh, we're still not necessarily dead. Damn, son. Ah. Two salty losses. All right. This is the correct balance, you guys. This is how it is. I'm just adding four sweet peas. I don't care. I'm not dying to another freaking thing anymore. Don't even care. Four four prior rounds. Okay, deck lists once again. We took out two of the cosmic peas and put in two more sweet peas. That's how it's done. Now this deck's perfect. We really could use a little more again. Oh no, not again! Haha, <laughs> we are armed and ready. We're definitely hard mulliganing for sweet pea here. Uh, this will be. Updating the deck list real quick. Shamsil Onion Ramp. Replace that bitch. Got it. All right. We believe in you, Sweet Pea. Oh, we got one. We got one. And we have Scorch. <coughs> and he's not running imps. That's the good news, you guys. Oh no, it's an imp. My arch nemesis. It's too much damage. tips to a newbie so I would say try to you know build your very first deck should just be good value if you want to see how I did it actually as a newbie I do have a playlist on YouTube called Fry's free to play accounts I actually have it there from just starting a totally fresh account uh, you can definitely check that out whole floor is so good here because that just makes the things a thing perfect it does do two damage to us scorch works possibly might wait one more turn on the onion rings, perhaps. So, uh, uh, tips I would give to becoming a better player in this game is just memorize the cards. Whenever you see a card, you can click on it and say, "Hey, look! It's a one cost two two. It's a crazy class. Infinity can control the sneaky and crazy classes. Just memorize which heroes." Do which powers you have to sit and memorize them. Just keep on clicking on the cards every time you see them and know exactly what they do. And uh, try to build up towards the budget decks I have on, on YouTube. There's a couple good ones like Smash Sports and Agro Solar Flare. They're cheap and they're effective. And you can hit Ultimate League with them. I feel like we're taking so much heat here. This is what we're doing. The best decks on each side, trickster decks on the zombie side, and ramp decks on the plant side are the best. There's some healing. 
much needed healing. <coughs> and we're getting extra sun here too, so we've got a lot of options. It's gonna be, it's gotta be onion rings. It actually reduces this. Hmm. It actually have to be onion rings. Allosaurus Dr. Pepper deck. I've tried that. You can look for my, my Tempo Heal deck on YouTube. I have done that in the past. There's a dragon. That's nice. <laughs> That's a really good pickup, actually. I certainly have enough sun to fight this turn. In fact, we can do dragon plus here. Plus, like, sweet day if we want. What if it's a pogo is the only problem? Wow. Uh, this should be lethal. Usually is. We pulled it out so it dies just to the splash damage. That guard is just negated. And that's guaranteed lethal. Got him. Thank you so much, X Millet, for subscribing with Amazon Prime. I really appreciate it. The free sub value. Baby Fry gets food. You lose nothing. I'll take it. Sports decks are amazing for beginners. Yes, Ad. It is probably the absolute best deck for beginners in terms of how easy it is to play, how cheap they are. I mean, Team Mascot, Sports Coach, these cards are cheap cards, and they're so good. <clears throat> Definitely take. Four, four, and one looks awfully good. Surprise, Garg! Oh, sorry, the wins losses sometimes reset when I, um, when I adjust it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, this should be five and, five and two. Got him! Amazing! Okay, Shadow Lord, you gotta really try to be more positive here, okay? I feel like you're unfortunately adding a lot of negative to the stream, so please just try to be a little more positive and cheerful. Thank you. I'll reset the... They went donate today? I'll reset the donations. They're taking over the face cam. Four and two now? Oh, is it four and two now? Oh, oops. Sorry. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. My bad. Um, hmm. this isn't horrible. Should I look for onion rings? Ah, uh, yeah. Look for onion rings. Bonk Choi for early game control? It's an idea. It would work. I feel like ramp is better though. I, this is so sad against backup dancers and summoning. We can't really play Sunflower on one.
That's one one of the applications of Primal Sunflower being so much better than this. Because Primal Sunflower would have just said, heck, go for it. You know, 50% chance he doesn't have one of those. And worst case scenario, summoning it at least trade with. I'm going to do this now, though. It dies to beam me up. You know what? He passed. There's not a whole lot he can do on this turn, so we're just going to play it slow. It dies so badly to beam me up. Yep. Beam me up inside. It's a whole card, by the way. I mean, this is a card that will kill something with Briar Rose. It'll become a 4 4 with Onion Ring, so. I do not want to concede. Piece of foolish garbage. Okay, this is a hard card to take out. Again, this can just get Bungie Plumbered. Even though it is probably better with the Briar Rose coming up, having the Sunflower and the Ramp and everything, but. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Ooh, maybe I should put this dry. The two damage isn't that significant. Is there anything you could play on heights? It's just Moonwalker. I think the ground probably has more options with Trapper territory. I'm just gonna play this. Dry. The conceit error is because I accidentally clicked the the left mouse of my of the left click of my mouse, which um, my screen mirroring application. Did you just get backyard bounce? Dude, that was annoying. Uh, it, it registers that as a back, back, back click, like the back button on the phone. So that's why that happens. Wow. Just wow. Alright, let's develop this. This is a trickster deck, of course. So Trickster's at 7, theoretically. There's 1, 2, 3... No, Trickster's at 6 right now. Oh. We are falling behind. We're gonna do the Briar Rose play probably next turn. This is not looking good, you guys. I know the board looks like, and the card advantage, and the everything. We don't have Onion Rings. Onion Rings would be the play here. Lack of day. Hard, hard mulligan for the Brinanas, I guess. We don't want this dying. I think it's just Captain. Did I play one of these? Just playing around second chickening, perhaps. Yeah, probably. We'll play the ladies later. That gravestone costs four. You can tell just from the brain dif differential. <sighs> I think this is the play. is keeping this one alive. That survives. Gentleman Zappy. He has 10 brains since he teleported in a gravestone. The, basically, the game will always detract brains when a thing pops out. So if he played a 4-cost gravestone, it'll actually show, show extra 4 brains the turn before. It does give you a little bit of a hint how much at least they cost. The gravestone he played the turn before it costs. It only happens when you teleport in a gravestone and it doesn't pop out until the next turn. It's unfortunate the first one dies. He did have the lunchbox. Oh, that's really good. Are you kidding me? We just got Cobb Cannon. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what is going on here? And we top deck Onion Rings. Five. And we have a Sunstrike. We can get the easy 10 damage here. I don't even think it's that greedy. We can heal also. Five. 
five. I think it's like this. This is a bunch of, yeah, it's a lot of top deck situations. Heal, question is do we play a sunflower here? I think the answer is yes. We're gonna do it dry. We're gonna do it sort of just to set up the cop can and play next turn since we're not really gonna be able to play all this. In fact, with the ramp, we can actually play cop can and on your rings. He's down to nine. It's a rocket. Heal this, at least for ours. And we're at 20. <coughs> That's a bonus attack. I don't see the big problem. In fact, the cop cannon actually will kill this. The one damage will make this die to the cop cannon splash coming up. Smoke bomb! <laughs> Why? I was like, is he gonna do it against this? And he just added one damage to that? That's interesting. A little synergy between this and Cobb Cannon. So, it's Cobb Cannon Onion Rings, I believe, is the play. And, uh, we're sorta gonna just ruin this guy next turn. Yes! Ooh! Okay. That's fine. That was a zero cost trickster, by the way. It's Cobb Cannon. And Onion Rings. Ridiculous. I, I, seriously, that trickster was very sad. Beam me up. We're still 16 health with the full block meter. He's probably not going to be able to protect this scientist. Oh, <laughs> he actually top decks Sugary Tree? <laughs> Come on, man. He needs the cards. That's super important. Scorch makes it die, though. Ah, sad. It's definitely worth killing the Cosmic Scientist there. And now we have a hand with, with, with which to wreck this guy. Uh, so it's going to be... As many cards as we can with Sunstrike, including this Double Strike ones. This is really good. Trickster. This is the bigger threat. Play around bonus attack, bonus attack, I guess. Oh baby! That's how you sunstrike, folks. There's hammer. Card would be nice to run in this deck. That dandelion king was was money. Couldn't agree more. Another trickster? It's looking for an answer. Wrath. <laughs> the only thing it even affects. And none of his powers can save him here. He has summoning guys and um <laughs> and he rolls a one. No one cares, that was eight damage. Pretty good. I don't even know if the Dandelion King was, since we were able to take control of the board, of the tempo of the board, the extra damage the Dandelion King, even though it definitely led to our eminent victory there, it wasn't actually necessary. We were so far ahead there. We would have won the next turn, you know? Strike through double strike, yeah. That's kind of up to. Having the team up sunflowers really help in the late game. They stack well. This does not matter against Rust Bowl. It's a Rolling Stoneable minion and he has nothing in the amphibious lane. Can't really summon anything in on turn one, so I think we'll ditch. Well, let's ditch this for now. There you go. This is a great combo. <clears throat> We'll go with this. We actually, well... The 
this is a, it's not, I wouldn't say an RNG deck, it's it's a fun Z deck, you know, it's definitely not, uh, oh, this is a top tier deck in the game, it's performing okay, I don't even think this 5-2 is, we've been really, had a lot of games that we've been just barely winning, and this is really good, we actually have Onion Rings this turn now, if we want, in fact, we have Onion Rings, wait, this is turn 3, 4, 5, we have Onion Rings, see what we get, Ooh, I might go with Holoflora. Hmm. I don't know about this onion rings. Guess it's okay. It does set up this, you know, this huge guy. We'll have a Sunstrike play set up. Be so nice to Holoflora first. You know what, we'll hold the floor and hopefully get a second second round of Onion Ring, if you know what I'm saying. Well, let's go with this. <coughs> it is hitting two cards. Would have been nice if this was a minion, of course. Rocket. <laughs> You're gonna need a lot more of those, baby. A lot more of those. So we're, again, we're out three out of four of our cards in our hand draw cards. We're very far from being out of steam. It's probably... We play around the second rocket already? Because we might as well draw first. We are protected! Not horrible. Spray really sucks here. <laughs> Another one! There's rocket number two. Still survives. These sunflowers are so strong with this prior rose. Whatever he puts on the field, it's gonna die. Ho ho ho! Another one! This just became a lot better. Onion Rings number two initiating. This we'll set up a, a sun strike turn for uh, next turn. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you rock wall me up. are making so much extra stuff here. He's down to eight. He's not gonna be able to survive. How many rocket sciences does this guy even need? So we have nine sun, so it's gonna be one, four, and four is just perfect. <laughs> it's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And Sunstrike. Ridiculous. Oh no, we only have eight! Piece of garbage! <laughs> so annoying. I guess we'll play these two in Sunstrike. There's literally nothing this guy can do here. Too much power. Oh no, it's Duck Stash! It's a this is a mustache deck, by the way, you guys. We just figured it out. Let's go, Banana Bomb! We <laughs> Doom Shroom. That'll be fun, BM. Look, if he survives... How about if he survives, I'll Doom Shroom myself. How about that? There's not... I don't think there's any combination of four cards in his hand... Plus him blocking that could actually do anything. Wow, that helped. What could he even get right now? Heal. Still doesn't help. Uh, oh yeah, it does. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, now he can roll double threes and a two and survive. Nope, now it's legal. Got him. Yo, dead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Boom! Shaka Laka. Uh, it's for 62. He is right. How you doing, Frima? What's <laughs> the best of the Forget about ramp. Let's eat those onion rings. The rings doesn't even look that good. It looks like a raw onion cut into rings. Yeah, Rack is right. <laughs> Make food with me. Oh, baby! If I become an Overwatch streamer, then I'll make food with them. How about that? That's bad. This is okay, though. Would Cobb Cannon be better in this deck, then? Hmm. I wonder if we play this. I don't think we do. Just dies to Rolling Stone, dies to Sumo next turn. Just gonna draw cards and set. So. Like, what does it help us? I don't really have anything to play on turn three, though. That will really help us either. Need to dip the onion rings in batter before you fry them up. I hear what you're saying, Papa Fry. What is that? Rat, squirrel, Sumo. No one cares. It's Primal Sunflower would have just died a miserable death, usually. I guess we could have played around Sumo. You hmm. have to play Baron Rats also. Anyway! Okay, Shadow Lord, you, this is really your last chance. If you want to be part of this channel, be part of the channel. Stop making it about you and your channel and what you would do different, okay? Seriously, just cut it out. I know you're being really subtle about it, but it's really annoying. And not the way to grow your channel is not by tapping into someone else's. Make actual good content yourself. I'm not going to tell you again. Sorry for being so harsh, but I'm saying this for you. Keep it going. I'm giving him heart over the head because I feel like he needs it. You got onion rings. I'll definitely take it. PVZ Battle Royale? <laughs> Yeah, it's called, uh, it's called, what's it called? Garden Warfare. Oh, baby. Briar Rose is quite good here. It can go Briar Rose. Uh, can actually just Sweet Pea. Wow, this is a cool play. We'll go Briar Rose later. Uh-huh. Weed spray. It's actually not the end of the world. We lose a lot of ramp this turn, so it limits what we can do, but I mean, we still have a lot of options here. Sweet P in four? Why? Then it would just absorb the the gladiator would then absorb damage from us. Yo, dear. Hernandez, your thing got deleted. Damn. Look at this. This is just gonna set up this onion ring so well with two 
strike through 4 4 is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> this is still better. This will be another source of card draw. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be a 1 cost 4 4 team up. No one cares. That did nothing. This is guaranteed lethal, actually. He can't remove three, two. He'd have to remove two of them with four. It's impossible. That doesn't help at all. Seven and two. This deck goes. And we lost both games to Toxic Waste in decks, right? Like, the hard counter. And since then, we've added an extra measures against Toxic Waste in. So, theoretically, the total deck version we have right here is. Um, it's even better than 7 and 2, theoretically. Double extinction event? Uh, yep, yeah, he would have been down to 2 health, I guess. Well, eh, he would have had to block. Anyway. Brain freeze deck with Gargoyle, Zombun, and Graveyard. Okay, I'll write that down again. I've tried it before. I guess we'd have to add in Pogo Mix of Grave. See, that's another deck. You can, like, do the fun stuff. We'd have to add in a really OP starting strategy. So it's going to be Graveyard, Gargolith, Zombot. It's going to be so hard to pull that off, though. We, if we don't get Pogo Mix of Grave Digger, you lose. That's how that works. Some flowers are not bad. It's a lot of ramp. I think this one's better. There's onion rings. I think we'll keep this. Better luck than yesterday, oh baby. Alright, so he has no actual way of killing this. That's nice. We can always protect this with the cosmic flower, which is nice. Super. Oh, he, the way to kill it is actually super and trap. Don't get trapped, man. This should have gone on heights. That was a mistake because out of his superpower, he can get Trapper. He can get um, this turn. He could play. You're annoying. Really? <laughs> this is so broken. Just wow. We need a sweep here immediately. Forty sweepy dead. <laughs> Toxic waste tip is so hard. It's one of Champsil's real weaknesses. Is the it's like it's just, oh oh oh. That's what I'm talking about. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> Watch him just smoke bomb it back. Pass. Yes. Okay, we have a chance of winning, folks. We're doing okay. Let me just heal the onion rings next turn. Okay, pros and cons of playing this. He has an imp throwing imp, a Doctor Who, and a mix of Grave Digger. I think we're gonna heal here. We don't heal here. At the end of the day, we hardly get out of this being double strike is useful. I think we should play one of these cards here, just to get a guy on the board. This lane doesn't matter. Maybe we'll actually do it like this. Please give me something good. This is better than that one. Oh, if we block the five, I guess blocking the five and the one are similar here. Blocks the five. Get scored! That's how you scorch, babies! Yes, now the point is the Doctor Who doesn't draw a card. That is so useful. Oh, oh, and this is only a 4 4 now, which actually dies to this one. I think stalling is correct here. Doctor Who doesn't matter. Does ramp help us that much next turn? I think it's just onion rings now. 
Oh, this is a nice Onion Rings hand there, too. You know, two of the cards draw cards. Three of them draw cards, actually. Then Sonic Bloom can probably play the Sonic Bloom late. With Solar Wind, Sonic Bloom is, a, is actually a very good card here. Let's see what he gets. I think he's... <laughs> Not again! No! Okay. I don't know how he hasn't covered the Solar Winds yet with something. Area 22. He has at least two environments in his hand. And one of them can't cost more than, like, one right now. So that one got double nerfed. So that was the first one. That's a pretty nice transformation station. And there's the second one. Okay. They're out of his hand. What does that laser base alpha do, though? Why didn't he play that in lane two? Oh, he's doing just a couple. Uh, and he... Wow. That was so inefficient. Why did he just lightning bolt that? Because he knows everything's a 4-4 anyway. And we have the second onion rings being set up. That's just a 3-2. No one even cares. We are in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. We are in gooch shape. What do we want to do? Draw immediate cards or draw Doctor Who way? Um, strike through is getting damage on already good. Hmm, so many decisions. I guess we want the, uh, the Captain Cucumber to be set up already uh so the cosmic cards will actually be more efficient now do we want the double or do we want the strike through right now what's better later a flower or a pea which is better to be nerfed a flower or a pea which is more expensive i think flowers typically are more expensive i don't know let's just do this i guess charging his block meter less immediately is good that's a wow wow so do we go for the 3-3 three, three strike through or do we wait on the onion rings? I think this is worth it just for tempo. That's a 3-3 three, three strike through. Really good. Really, really good. It got it cost zero because of the captain. Wow, and he wasn't able to get the gravestone. Amazing top deck turned out to be. Uh, he will get the transformation station there, but that's not a big problem. Just a sweet damage to his face. This kills Doctor Who and draws us a poppin' poppies. I'll take it. That's amazing. This is heal, sustain. Against the, again, this lake, he has, he's out of cards. This is his problem. This turns into a helicopter. No problem whatsoever. Briar Rose will actually... We actually have Briar Rose poppin' poppies in our hand. I know you all realize that already. <laughs> this is going well. Now what do we do? Just Briar Rose. Briar Rose clears his field, you guys. I'll go for heal right now, also. Um, I don't necessarily actually need these to survive. Hmm. A bounce, damn. Okay, so I'll bounce the Briar Rose. He wanted to bounce the Captain Cucumber there. Right now, our card advantage is just carrying us so hard. Um, in a way, he almost wants to bounce the Cosmic Flower, so his Pogo at least turned to something. He really, he has so many good bounces, but none of them end up with him getting even close to catching up here. Is he just gonna concede? This one really look at we have freaking Briar Rose poppies. Even if he bounces the Briar Rose, we'll just have that play. He goes with that one, so he really wants the seven drop. He feels like that's gonna carry him. He puts a guy there, kills Captain Cucumber. Perfect. That's exactly what he wanted. Captain Cucumber will draw one last card, it's great zucchini. <laughs> yes! I think we actually have eight this turn. So Great Zucchini's active. That turns into a Wizard Harry. These poppin' poppies are ridiculous. I'm doing it! Wait! Actually, we have... <laughs> Damn. He knew he had no chance. Just wanted to pop and poppy him for Bia. Or Great Zucchini him for Bia. So many options. No one cares. Alright, guys. That's 8 and 2. This deck w did well. The deck that we're running freaking Cosmic P and Cosmic Flower for control cards, and that actually was not planned. Just hit Ultimate League, you guys. Damn. So, uh, that was amazing. That was the Onion Rings. We're obviously gaining all this extra gems. You can't even see it because I cut the top of the screen off so the gameplay was bigger. But, um, and thank you so much, I Sensei Panda, for subscribing. I think that was really, really good. The onion rings really worked well. We found another use, almost a new way to actually draw cards is with cosmic cards. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do this with a different hero. It might not be with ramp. It's going to be maybe with a hero with better cosmic cards. And that's how you again stall for time at the same 
this, you know, stall for time as you're controlling and then come in with onion rings or something like that. Definitely seems like an interesting idea. Maybe you can use Cosmic Nut, which is a lot better, uh, etc. I'll take a look at what the options are. Cosmic Beam it definitely works there. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. That was amazing. Peace. This is Crime.